I'm Jonathan Biss, and uh, it's great to be back in Nashville playing with the symphony. I think the last time I was here was about five years ago. I have really happy memories of uh, Brahms D minor that time, and it's, uh, it's great to be back playing the Schumann Concerto, another uh, great favorite of mine. I think the, the Schumann Concerto is uh, one of the works in the literature in which the, the orchestra and the piano are most beautifully and perfectly integrated into one another. There's an incredible sense of, of dialogue right from the very beginning, you know, where the, the, the theme comes in the oboe and is immediately um, not repeated but um, sort of tweaked by the piano. And, then, and that, that sense of give and take of back and forth really carries through the whole rest of the piece. Uh, there is a, a kind of a chamber music quality to it that I, I absolutely, absolutely love. Uh, and also, I would say, a poetry. There's, uh, like so many of Schumann's pieces, uh, it was written for his wife, Clara, who was an incredible pianist. And she's really, she's embedded into the piece in so many ways. Her name um, even appears in the theme in a very cryptic form. I mean, the letters L and R don't exist in music, but you have in the theme... C A A is, you know, the majority of her name, and you know that's just the very beginning of the piece, and all the way through there are these little uh, cryptic clues that the piece is for her and about her, and I find that uh, somehow very touching. Yeah, so I didn't know about the Violins for Hope project until I arrived today because the Schumann is not really a, a part of that, but when Giancarlo was telling me about it, I was really overwhelmed. Um, with emotion. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm the grandchild of Holocaust survivors myself, so I suppose it has a, a personal significance for me. But beyond that, I just think, you know, we're at this very critical, I would say dangerous moment in history when uh, there will be very few witnesses to that chapter of our history left um, soon. And um, I sort of see all around me grave dangers that we might forget and that we might not have learned the lessons from history. And I think having a reminder, and particularly one in the form of culture, which I think is, has such an incredible power to, to have a positive effect in our society, I think that's, I, I almost can't overstate how important I think it is. So it's really, even though my involvement in that is kind of very peripheral, I'm really thrilled to, to be here while it's going on.